morning. I'm going to show you how to drill out a pin that has broken out on the Sonar Primary Line instruments. Um, they're the ones with the rubber bendy pins and sometimes they snap off at the top. So if you see right there, I got a pin that is broken off. The other pins are just fine. Um, so I just moved the, the cording off to the side so I can do this. I'm going to start by using a 7 64ths bit which is slightly smaller than the pin itself sometimes I go a size down sometimes not I tend to actually use a hand drill but I asked my husband for the drill today so he gave me the power drill to do this and right now it's on high torque which I absolutely don't want I want it oh no I do want it on torque because it'll go a little bit slower than if it's on high speed so I'm gonna have it set so that it um, drills forward first and then I'll come back and reverse um, I can't actually video as I'm drilling, but I'm basically going to put the drill dead on, um, dead on, straight up and down, and drill in pretty much as deep as I can, and then I'm going to rock it a little bit, and then I'll try to pull it out. If I can't pull it, then I'll actually put it in reverse and come backwards that way. So I can't video as I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it right now. Here I have the drill bit about halfway in. I'm going to take it in just a little bit deeper. And I think I have it in just about all the way. So I'm going to rock it just a little bit and try to pull. And it got most of it out there. There's still a little bit left inside. If you look, there's still just a little bit left inside. As you can see, my bit is pretty well wrapped in the rubber right now. So I'm going to go up to the quarter inch and try to work it out the rest of the way with that. Um, so, and if you're worrying about the wood that you're seeing come up, it was stuck on my bit from a previous project, so don't freak out about that. So basically, I just got to get the hole cleaned out, and as soon as I have the hole cleaned out, I can just pop in a new pin. Oh, and I lied. It's an eighth, not a quarter. I'm horrible with my measurements. It's the eighth inch bit that I'm going to next. As you can see, I had a nice stuck piece of rubber in there so I had to jump up to my 3 16 inch bit so that I could get that piece of rubber out and then I'm gonna put this new one in and all I'm gonna do is put a dab of glue inside and then I'm just going to gently pound this in and I'm just gonna use a hammer to tap it in and it's gonna feel kind of tight but it will go I promise you and there you can see I have my new pin inside um the stuff hasn't quite settled around it yet, but it will. And I just haven't shoved it in quite all the way yet, so I just need to work it down a little bit more. So there's our new pin. That's how you change out the rubber pins on the Sonar Metallophone, or on the Sonar Metallophone, Xylophones, Primary Line Instruments, when they bust off, which is a complete and utter pain in the butt.